Hey everybody, it's Hunter Allen uh, with Peaks Coaching Group and I'm going to give you a little bit of a just introduction here and what you see when you look at the Leomo uh, analysis web tool and uh, it's a great little tool, it gives us some great insight into what's happening with, uh, with your power and your motion data. So first off you can see right away that you've got some basic metrics here at the start. You can click here, change your title put some notes in here, write in what you felt like, how you felt on your ride. We're looking at Coach David Sellers. Uh, he's one of the coaches here at Peaks Coaching Group and has been using the Leomo Type R for quite a long time. You'll notice here too, he's got some great data in here as well where you can see all the basic things that you're used to seeing with your power data, elevation, left, right, balance, power, cadence, speed, heart rate, just the, those things that are outputting in into your power meter. Uh, because the Type R captures all of your uh, AMP Plus data. The next thing down we have is the dead spot score. You can see that the right leg and the left leg is a little different here. He's got a little more dead spots on the right than he does on the left side. You can see that those right ones down here on the bottom more so than the left. The next is foot angular range. This is quadrant one, and quadrant one is from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So it just is looking at the range of motion. How much range does that foot move? How far does that foot move in an angular number? And, and from just that 12 to 3 o'clock. So you can see that here, it's got 32 degrees of movement, 30 degrees of movement, 34 degrees of movement uh, in his left and right foot just from 12 to 3 o'clock on the bike. Now, the foot angular range down here for all of it, this is for the entire uh, pedal stroke. So here we can see that okay now it's 43.8 and 42.6 so they're very close together. The next one down is our leg angular range. This is how much the leg moves up and down. right? And these are generally fairly close together um, however sometimes they can be uh, dramatically off. So one thing that you're going to look at to see if there is a big difference between those and then try and discover why that difference is. Down below that we have our pelvic tilt. Okay, so this is most likely right here when he's just riding along. And then right here, this is when he's uh, standing up right here. Okay, so now he's standing up, his angle is getting less. So zero is vertical and 90 degrees would be totally flat uh, down uh, horizontal to the ground. So this would be standing up right here at 52 degrees. You can see that he's standing up here. Now over here where this is going higher, this is when he's actually getting more arrow. So he's getting flatter towards the, uh, on getting closer to parallel to the ground. Now down here, this is the pelvic anterior posterior rotation. This is how the, the hips move uh, and twist. So from, from kind of forward to backward, they twist. Uh, and, and the range of that twisting motion. So you can see that there are specific times here when there's a lot more twist than other times. This is the lateral rotation here. What this is really looking at, this is like the rocking motion. So up and down, it's rocking up and down. And that's really what that's looking at. And you can see that these are, are key pieces to it. So you notice right away, right, that when he stands up, right, so you know he's standing up, Look, his hips are moving, he's twisting back and forth, right? Makes sense. And same thing here, they're rocking up and down. So we can see some of this range of motion and how that changes standing versus seated. The next one down, this is uh, called the pedal stroke intelligence. This is a plot that Dr. Uh, Mike Coco and myself created along with the Leomo team. And this is a way to what I, what I like to call as your pedaling print. And first off, we look at this and we reduce the filter to five to get rid of the stuff that's just like, just really so small movements that it's hard to really understand what's going on. And you can see that David had a lot of pedaling time between 66 and 75 RPM here. So we're going to keep that in. He was doing a, a solid effort here between 250 watts and 300 watts. So these are watts all the way across. And then these are different segments here. And you can see, okay, well, 75.3% was in this segment five. Here over here is 47.3% in segment five. So we can tell where those dead spots or decelerations occurred and then how many were there as well. And then 
what were they? You know, you take away the cadence range, you see right away those cadences, you can tell exactly what the range was. The next one down is called the pedal, pa uh, sorry, power cadence dead spot map. This is another map that um, Dr. Coco and I came up with, uh, and it's a pretty cool map to see what your range of, uh, of, of pedaling is when you don't have a lot of dead spots. So this is where, this is the, you know, your combination of gearing and uh, so cadence and wattage combination shows us a little bit about when you are, how much time you're spent in each of these different combinations. So in this case, 950 samples uh, and only 21 of them had a dead spot in there. So a very low amount of samples there had a dead spot. So a good one to look at for certain. Same kind of thing down here as well. We've got the right and left leg mimic each other almost perfectly. Um, the right leg has got a little more when he gets a little lower cadence. He has a little more dead spots in that one, especially as his watts go a little higher. So something to look at. This gives you a little intro. I hope you've liked this uh, video and uh, check it out. We've got a lot more coming. I'm putting these out every week. So uh, just have a look at them and I uh, hope uh, let us know if you need any help. We've got 27 certified coaches now in the Type R using this analysis. And uh, we can make a difference in your pedal stroke, in your cycling, and in your power production. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.